In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with same side interior angles. In the first example, we're just practicing identifying same side interior angles from a picture. So, in this particular picture, angle 3 would be a same side interior angle with angle 5 because they're both on the left side of the transversal T and they're both on the inside of the lines L and M. So our first answer is angle 3 and angle 5. The second pair of same side interior angles is right here, angle 4 and angle 6. These two angles are both on the right side of the transversal T and also both on the inside of the lines L and M. Now keep in mind we don't know that these pairs of angles are necessarily supplementary like oftentimes same side interior angles are because we don't know that the lines are parallel. But they're still same side interior angles. Okay, example B. Find the measure of angle 2. Well, angle 2 and the 66 degree angle are same side interior angles. And I notice that the lines are marked as being parallel. So that means because they're same side interior angles and the lines are marked as parallel, the two angles have to be supplementary. So that means that the two angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So angle 2, if I wanted to find the measure of angle 2, I can just do 180 degrees minus 66 and get 114. And that will give me my answer. The measure of angle 2 equals 114 degrees. And we figure that out by the fact that it's a same side interior angle with the 66 degrees. Therefore, it has to be supplementary with the 66 degree angle. Let's go to the last example. Example C, find the measure of x. Well, just like the last problem, these two angles are same side interior angles because they're both on the right side of the transversal and inside the lines. The lines are marked as being parallel, so that means those same side interior angles have to be supplementary. So I can set up an equation to solve for x. These two angles have to add up to be 180 degrees. That's what supplementary means. So that means that 2x plus 43 plus 2x minus 3 has to equal 180 degrees. Now that I know that, I can solve this using algebra skills. Combine like terms and get 4x plus 40 equals 140 degrees. Next, minus 40 from both sides. 4x equals 100. Finally, divide by 4, and you get x equals 25. So that means x is 25 degrees. Now the question did just ask us to find the measure of x, so technically we're done. Keep in mind, you could also at this point go back and figure out the measure of the actual angles by plugging in your answer for x. So for example, this angle on the bottom, we would figure that out by doing 2 times 25 degrees, which is what we know x is, minus 3. So we would get 47 degrees for the bottom angle. We could also plug in 25 degrees to the top angle or top expression for x in order to figure out the top angle. Or we could just do 180 minus 47 degrees to figure out what this angle has to be.